Hey everyone, I'm Kevin Krebs here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make rain in Adobe Photoshop CS4. Please excuse my messy desktop. It's very messy. So, let's see what we're going to be doing today. This is going to be the final product of what we're going to be doing, and this was my picture that I Google imaged. Is that even Google imaged? Okay. You know, so, okay, it's like a dull overcast uh, sky without any rain. And then we added all the effects. Bada bing, bada boom. We got a rain and some color out of this uh, black and white image. So let's start a new project. Get rid of this one because we don't need it. Stupid. And we're just gonna drag our picture in to here. Okay, here we go. Here's our picture. Yay. Uh, what we're gonna first want to do is. Um, we're going to start an adjustment layer and go to levels. And what we're we, what we want to do first is get uh our clouds so that they are more dark and depressing pretty much. So I would suggest not moving this black arrow and just kind of move the gray arrow so, uh to the right. And you don't want the See, this part of the, in the photo is going to be more uh, lighted because there's sun shining through the clouds right there, so you don't really want that to show very much. So I would keep the white at the low end, and you're gonna. That looks good to me. And then once you're done with that, you can go down here and make the cloud layer. I'm not, I say layer, it's not really a layer, but you can make the clouds a little darker that way too. So. And don't worry about this part, we're going to be cleaning that up with a mask in a sec because that's the cool part about adjustments layers. They always, this one comes with a built in mask. So that brings us to our next step, which is actually that. We're going to be using, a, uh, we're going to take a brush here and we're going to be using black as our color. And as you can see, I just lit up the, that part of the sidewalk. And I don't need it to be this big, the brush that is. And I'm using a soft brush. I, don't, I would not suggest a hard mechanical brush for this because it uh, you can see the edges of it very well. And you don't want the opa opacity for this very high either. So what we're going to do is kind of leave the clouds alone and we're just going to go along the city and the sidewalk here with all the people and light them up. So... Hmm. Try not to uh, double click any area twice because it'll make it a little bit more lighter unless you want that to happen. So I just did it on accident, but it turns out it looked better than before. So mm, that's looking pretty good. I'm going to just work with that because I don't need to take my time here. See, so that was our original image. It was very light, and now we got these dark clouds, and these people are kind of are they're all still dark so uh, you as you can see this guy kind of has a glow around him what you want to do to take that away is just go over it with the white brush instead and that'll be the reverse of black obviously and it'll be it'll reverse your mask effect so as you can see that's good I'm not gonna worry too much about that right now and I switch my foreground color back to black and bada bing bada boom there we go so what we're gonna do now is now that we got our adjustments and level color I mean our light and dark colors all settled we're gonna get, go to a new layer and we're gonna start making it rain so and not in the african-american sense where they throw money on the never mind anyway we're gonna go to fill I mean edit fill or shift plus f5 and we're going to be using our foreground color, which is, oh, it is not black. Make sure your foreground color is black for this, folks. Fill, foreground color, 100% opacity, and OK. And, oh my god, everything's black. Well, that's normal because that's what we want because we want a background for our rain. And I did quotations with my fingers there to be on. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to filter and start adding our rain. We're going to go to noise add noise 
and oh my god it's like the TV stuff where you don't get a channel on it or whatever and make sure that you have monochromatic noise checked because you don't want this disgusting colorful noise that looks like it's from the 80s so make sure you have that checked and you can use uniform or Gaussian but I use Gaussian because it looks pretty cool and uh, I don't know if I said that right so alright that's good uh, obviously this is looking pretty bad so far but that's because we're not done adding all the filter effects so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to filter blur motion blur I think I'm doing this correctly yes okay motion blur and I already have my presets all uh, set up because I was doing this earlier, but normally it'll probably start at about zero degrees. And I'm just going to set it to 90 degrees so it's going straight up and down because uh, that's how rain falls. It falls to the ground, you know, due to gravity. So, uh, the distance is going to affect your picture greatly, obviously. You don't want it to look all futuristic and metallic like this. You want it to look uh, a bit more real like rain. So what you're going to want to do is depending on the size of your image and the quality of it, mine is not that big, the picture that is, and it's uh, the quality is pretty bad. I'm not going to say it's bad, it's 720 pixels by something, I don't know, but I'm going to keep it pretty low around 10 to 20. I'll probably do like, like, yeah, 13 looks pretty good. So okay, that's good. And what we're going to want to do for our last little deal here is going to go to Image Adjustments Levels. And we want to have a little bit of a grayish color, kind of like it's blended in, but we do not want it too black or too white. So uh, we're just going to try and you're going to want to move your white arrow to just about the end of the curve here. And. Ooh, your black curve, you don't want it too tight like this because it'll be, uh, it'll look like that after you blend it with your picture. So you kind of want it to be, depending on how much rain you want, you want it to be kind of. That's looking pretty good. And your output level can be whatever you want it to be. You just, you just got to play around with it. So I'm just going to say that's good. It'll probably look bad at their eye blend it but that's because I'm stupid and you are not so oh uh, so the rain's looking pretty good right now but obviously the big problem is we can't see our freaking picture so we're gonna go to our blending modes here and normally it's at normal naturally and we're just gonna go to screen and that blends the picture with the rain the noise the motion blur etc so Obviously, I can't really see the picture that well, and it's overtaken by this horrible rain effect. So, <sighs> we're going to go to our opacity and lower it a little bit, is what I like to do, so we can see our picture much better that way and work with it easier. So, here we have our rain effect, and we're not done because if we zoom in, and everything looks pixeled when I zoom in, but uh, the rain looks very digital from here, so we're going to fit on screen, and we're going to go to uh, where are we? filter, blur again, and we're going to do gosh and blur this time. And what I did for my previous attempts is I put my gosh and blur at like 0.5 pixels, because you do not want it very big, uh, because obviously this will happen. You don't want that. It looks pretty fuzzy. And then the farther you go, it just kind of looks like a fog effect almost and hopefully after 250 and it's god awful. Well it's not god awful, it looks pretty cool, but this is not the effect we're trying to do right now folks. So I'm gonna set it to point, we'll try, well, okay we're, we're feeling adventurous today folks, we're gonna go to point four pixels. So that is good, that's good, okay fit on, uh, zoom out so we can work with it a little bit better and we're gonna do we're going to utilize our superior knowledge of masking and we're just going to go over this in a black color um, you can lower the opacity to your desired uh, deal too, whatever you want and we're just going to go, I'm just going to go over in a black brush because not all rain falls uh, in very, in like the same pattern so 
because you, you get wet, right? You get soaked. And I hope that doesn't happen to you. So I'm just going to go over random uh, areas of the picture and kind of just blotch some of the rain out. And make sure it's not all even because that doesn't look very natural. But you don't want to make it look too natural, quotation mark fingers, because it'll look pretty, uh, it'll just look like the rain was planned to fall that way, so, you know, just like in real life. So, uh, you don't want the opacity to be too big because peop uh, you'll see that it's not very natural that way. If you just want to go over it and control alt z if you don't like the way something is and you just want to redo something you can do that see so i'm just kind of speeding through this it doesn't look very good for me but if you have the right kind of picture uh and the right kind of time this look this will look pretty good actually so you can mess with the fill on this layer too you don't want it to look so like op Oh, like such little opacity that you don't have anything going on, but you don't want it too much either, so. See, I don't really like this part I did right here because it doesn't look very natural. But, uh, you can see that other parts of this are, so, are, uh, man, I'm a mess. So, what you want, okay, so I'm just going to say that's good for right now but you can take your time on it and whatnot so that's that's basically the rain effect we're just gonna I'm just gonna add a little finishing touch and I'm gonna colorize it so it's got a little bluish tone kinda of a gray bluish tone so it, it kinda just brings the picture together so what we're gonna do is go into our adjustment layers and we're gonna go to hue and saturation and we're gonna click colorize and oh my god it looks like that crazy dust storm in Australia or Austria or whatever that happened like a few weeks ago. So, what we're gonna do is what happened? What happened? Okay, so we're gonna go to our adjustments and we're gonna change our slider on hue to over to a more bluish tone. So, we got that stormy look going on. And I don't like my saturation to be too high for this. I kind of like the gray and the blue to blend together. So, I'm just gonna kind of put it halfway in between blue and gray and you can darken the picture a little bit too if you like so that looks pretty good and that's pretty much our effect if you want to add a few more finishing touches see I don't really like it that black that dark actually so Ooh, okay okay so that's pretty much of our effect uh, you can see that we went from this uh, plain boring day in the hood to this, a nice rainy day in the hood. I, I guess that's not that much better, is it? Uh, anyway, uh, I think that's a cool effect. Obviously, if you have a bigger quality picture and a bigger size picture, you can do much more with this and the colors and the saturation and the beep and bop and you get the idea. So, uh, it didn't actually, it did not come out that bad. I, I didn't think it would come out this good for this round at least. I did some really good ones earlier, so. That's just a quick example of how to do some rain in Adobe Photoshop CS4. Watch out for some new tutorials coming up. Marty is trying to get his computer fixed, probably, uh, hopefully he'll have it by this week. All fixed up and ready to please you people. And, uh, yeah. Looks like it's, uh, time to go. Okay, bye.